Hi everyone, so I have a really cute story to tell you that happened yesterday on my run. But, to begin, <laughs> I love birds. I love birds so much, I've always loved birds. I've always felt a connection to birds and I always think it's because, you know, I'm, I'm very airy, I'm an airy sign, like I'm a Gemini and I'm an Aquarius rising and like air, birds, I love birds. I love the song of birds, like when birds sing, like that vibration, that frequency, it's so magical. You know how like ohm, like sounds are, are so amazing. Anyways, the song of birds, insane, love it. And I remember when I was young, my dad had a lot of animals and he had like a chicken coop and the chickens weren't laying any eggs. I love chickens, I love chickens. I love them so much, so cute. And my dad would just like throw seeds at them. Like he wasn't sending them love. So I remember I'd go in the chicken coop and I would just like meditate with them and I would send them love. I would do Reiki healing on the chickens and then they started to lay eggs. So I've always felt connected to birds. I love chickadees. Ah! Like when chickadees fly into your palm, like how special is that? Like so many animals are like distant, they're not friendly. But chickadees are so friendly and I love that. Chickadees love to make friends. Oh, I love chickadees, they're so cute and they also have a beautiful sound. I also love crows. Crows are so deep and intelligent and there's usually spirit messages with crows for me. Or finding feathers on the ground, it usually means there's a loved one nearby. Chicken feathers usually bring luck and abundance. I love feathers. I love birds, I love them all. I love peacocks, Are you kidding me? I love flamingos, those big pink birds. I love ducks. Oh my gosh, I love ducks. Ducks are the cutest. Oh my god, I love ducks. But geese too. Geese can be very vicious, right? But you know you can discipline them? If a geese is being, a goose is being very like, quack quack or whatever. Oh yeah, they, they hiss, they go hiss. You know, you can discipline them. Stand up and be like, no geese. With your energy, they'll, they'll sit back. Geese are just children. They're just children. You can, you can be stern with geese. Oh, and my spirit animal is an owl. I'm an owl. That's the energy I feel like I'm more the most like. I'm an owl, which is another bird. So all the birds, I love them. In Berlin, there's this pond near my house and I go for a lot of runs and walks in the forest around me. And there are swans that chill in this pond. And swans are so beautiful and elegant and so white. So beautiful, oh my god. And they're always together. There's always two swans together because they're, they're, they're like a couple. So romantic, lovely, I love swans. And I was going on a run and I didn't intend to go to this pond, but then I see the swans and I just, I was like, I'm gonna go say hello to the swans. I have to say hi. So I did, I changed directions and I went towards the, the pond and the swans did like the same thing. They were going one way and then they see me or they feel my energy and they just turn and they started coming towards me. I kid you not, these swans were going one way, they see me and they make their way all the way towards me. It was so magical and they came right close to me. It was so beautiful. Two beautiful, white, magnificent swans came to me and I wanted to, like I could, like, I could pet them if I wanted to, they were so close. And they do, are, they're vicious as well. And like, I spent a lot of time with animals and animal communication and everything like that. So it's almost like a similar energy to geese. So I know you kind of have to be like an adult around geese. You have to be disciplinary with geese. So I kind of had that energy but also very loving. And it was just such a beautiful experience. I was just like there, I had a huge smile. I was just like, oh my God, two beautiful swans are right in front of me. And they just said, hello. They were just saying hi to me. And like, I didn't have any bread or anything. Like I wasn't feeding them. They were just with me. And I, and I was going on a run and I was kind of like into the run mode. So I kind of wanted to go back for a run, but I felt like they didn't want me to leave. It was so cute. So I had to share, it was such a beautiful experience to really connect with swans. And for me, when I see swans or when swans come up in a reading, it usually means love, romance, like two swans, a heart, two hearts coming together. And the first time I saw swans in Berlin, I went on a date that night, had a lot of fun. So now I'm really excited to see what's gonna come my way with these swans. So I hope you guys all start to connect with birds. I love all the birds, seagulls, crows, all the birds, feathers vibe with them, communicate with them, you know, just, or any animals that connect to you. I love animals so much. So I had to share that story with you guys because it was super magical, it was super cute, it was spiritual, it was just so cool. So, yeah. Also, if anyone wants to be part of my newsletter, I do three 
emails a month on astrology updates and I do card readings in the email and a bunch of fun stuff. It's free. Let me know. Send me a message and I will add you to my newsletter. Okay. Have a good day. Bye.